All right, before we get into this video, it is a Saturday for me right now, even though you're watching this video on a Sunday. The job you're going to watch right now, it's a great job, beautiful, and that job was done earlier in the week. But anyways, I wanted to come on here because I made a YouTube short, which I just put out right now, and I wanted to explain why I made it. Uh, so I'm sitting out here in my backyard last night. We were up by the campfire by the house and we weren't getting bit by any mosquitoes. Last year, my wife and I decided to hire a company that comes and they spray, you know, your, your grass. Sorry, my lawn is super tall. I'm going to mow it today. And they'll spray like in the, in the bushes, the foliage and stuff like that. And it keeps the mosquitoes away and it works great. And, and no, this isn't a sponsored video or anything like that. But that got me thinking since I've had a bunch of people in the, not a bunch, but I've had several people in the comment section uh, that have really been irritating me you know they get under my skin just like the mosquitoes in the backyard so I was thinking to myself what could I do to get rid of them to you know have them leave the channel voluntarily so I was thinking and thinking and thinking and then uh, it occurred to me uh, those type of people are the same people that unsubscribed when I put that sticker on my car I don't know a couple months back or whatever so that's why I made the YouTube short that was a little bit controversial yesterday. I'll put the link in the description below. So basically what happened is I put out the short and exactly what I wanted to happen started happening. I started losing subscribers, which was absolutely fantastic. So people were sitting, you know, on their side of their phone or computer or whatever. And, you know, they're getting their revenge on me by hitting that unsubscribe button. And I'm sitting over here and I'm like, yes, it's working. <laughs> So if you've been following along, you know that I don't purposefully create any um, controversy on the channel. I don't purposefully agitate people. I don't want people mad. Like, I don't want people to hate me. I mean, people do, but it's not like you enjoy people hating you. But I just thought I could, <laughs> I could do something to get rid of the mosquitoes. So that's the reason why I made the YouTube short. Um, if you wanted to know, and no, that's not going to be like a regular part of the channel, but uh, every once in a while, if something like that pops up, now you know the reason. Anyways, I want this channel to be full of positive people. You guys know I'm a positive person. You know, I want people on the channel that believe in hard work ethic, that have character, that are go-getters, that are hungry, that are hustlers, people that love their families, people that take care of their kids, uh, people that, you know, work hard at their jobs, go the extra mile and love their country. You know, that's the type of people that we are here. And if I start to gather a bunch of people that, you know, uh, really don't fit in here and they're only here for the purpose of, you know, irritating us, uh, I'll do something like that to try to help. But I thought I'd give it a try. Maybe I never do it again. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Enjoy. Good morning. It is 5.30 on a Thursday. We're going to go start a new project today. It is a patio. I'm also going to build some pillars, some seat walls all the way around it, have some steps. It's going to be a really nice looking job. We're going to be there for a few days. Right now, I got to take this trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Morning, Scott. How are you this morning? Doing fine. How's the coffee business? Yes, Hi. How are you today? All right, how are you? Good. What yep, thank you. All right, dear. Have a good day. How many thank you. Days? All right, it is 6 o'clock. I am just pulling into the yard. I have to uh, run to another job and set some cones out. They're going to deliver a dumpster, but I'm going to put cones where I want them to drop it. Eric's here. I got to run to another job, so I'll be back, get the truck ready, get everything ready to roll. All right, I got some cones in the trunk. Marcel called me, his van died right by his house. That stinks. All right, I 
right, I am pulling back into the yard. It's almost seven o'clock, so we're getting a late start today. But that is something that I really needed to get done and I was very busy last night, so I couldn't do it last night. Morning. Make sure we got the big glue gun. <coughs> we need a lot of glue today. All right, here we go, off to the job. No concrete to order today. It's gonna be a long day. I'm gonna really try to get as much done as I can. All right, I'm just pulling up on the job. It is a beautiful morning here in Oak Creek, Wisconsin. Looks like the girls are here in front of me. Hi. Hi. You girls ready? Yep. Yep. Teach your kids to be on time. It's a very, very important character trait if you want to be successful in life. I had Daryl deliver all the blocks of plywood in the machine yesterday. Yesterday we did not work. It poured rain all day long. All right, so I'll walk you to the back and show you what we have going on. We are on the project. So this patio is getting removed. We're gonna take out the retaining wall, all the pavers obviously. We're gonna extend the patio out to where this concrete border currently is. We're gonna put a step down right here. So it'll be a step down off the patio onto a pad. And then we're gonna bring the concrete all the way up to the house. So that gravel area up there will become concrete. This wall we're gonna replace. We're gonna remove all the blocks and replace it with all those blocks you saw in the front. And see how this is extended above into a seat wall. We're gonna do this all the way around the patio um, down this stretch here and we're gonna make a return. We're gonna build five pillars. There's gonna be a pillar right where that bush is. So they're gonna be able to come out the patio and exit that way if they want to. So it'll be a pillar, seat wall to here, another square pillar and then seat wall out to somewhere in the middle of the patio, somewhere in this area. Then there'll be another pillar. And then I'm gonna make a set of steps about six feet wide with another pillar on that side. And then the wall will come down here and end in the corner there uh, with another pillar. So this is a pretty time consuming project. We're gonna be here three days, I figured, uh, but it's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna be a nice transformation. So we'll get some before and after pictures and uh, we're gonna get started. Guys are pulling up right now. Let's get to work. So is it possible I can save all of that? So those four? Yeah. Yeah, we can, we'll dig them out. Please. Yeah. Yeah, yep. dig them out. Already? You're so, you already had it ready. I'm quick, not like Not like people. my, not like my employees. Say she says she's really fast, not like you guys. <laughs> I didn't say that. Right in your heart. You're here for me, right? <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm gonna reuse the base course that's buried underground and I'm gonna mortar my blocks to the existing base course. We need to get the plywood down first. We got a long ways to go before we're ready for any tools back there. Let's just put plywood from the road straight through here over the grass instead of coming over the driveway. You making new friends there or walking to school or what? All right. <laughs> We're right next to the elementary school here. And then they walk up to school, so. Just on Thursdays? On the last day of school. Today's the last day of school. Oh, is it? Oh, man, that's exciting. I know. Who's excited for the last day of school? Yeah! Mom, too. I fit right in walking up, didn't I? You did. She's smart. She doesn't trust Daryl. She walked across the street. She already saw his skill level. She's like, <laughs> She's like I'm out of here. Yeah. Or she might know him. She's like, is that the destroyer? <laughs> Stopped at Home Depot yesterday. I got 10 more sheets of plywood. It was over $600. Be kind to your video editor. The power of editing is in their hands. You're going to make me look bad? You better not. No, it's for the guys. Oh. So many people walking to school right across our sidewalk. Just carry and put it on the grass. And then he can come over. You guys are going to wait till 8.30 when the bell rings? <laughs> Come on. I'm excited for the kids. I remember that feeling. How strong are you? This is gonna turn into a giant mess. There's gonna be mud everywhere. There's gonna be gravel, just so you know. That's the way that it goes here. I'll explain my plan here. So the plan here today, get this all excavated, get as many of the pillars built as I can, get some of the wall built, 
by the end of the day tomorrow, I want to have this patio completely set up with the stairs, all the blocks done, and then uh, tomorrow's Friday. And then Monday morning, we will pour this and be out of here and then move on to the next one. What's wrong, Daryl? I can't work with snakes. <laughs> you scared? Yeah. Where is it? Right here. It's right there. Oh, Chew on the side. Damn it. Yeah, right. <laughs> no. Look at that. Got it. He's going to bite you. Bite me? Yeah, you're going to get... It's a grass snake. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's a python. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a cobra. It's venomous. Daryl said it's a python. It's <laughs> Marcel. No. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl is so scared. I mean, it's a little snake. Daryl is super scared of chipmunks too. If we ever have a chipmunk on a job, you will, you will see. All right, we'll put it in the, we'll put it in the grass. We'll save its life. I'm not a fan of snakes, but I'm not gonna kill a snake either. All right, let's make some noise. What are you girls doing? <laughs> Trying to get all the angles? <laughs> this is getting a little too professional, girl. We don't want to make this too professional. Why is Autumn pass with an airplane? Just get a shot. And this all has a really good gravel base. We don't really have to do much. So I went to the DMV yesterday and I registered at my uh, Crown Vic. Mm -hmm. It has 54,300 miles. Mm -hmm. That's what I wrote down. I, I get back to my house yesterday, I look at the title. He put 543,000 miles. He put an extra zero on it. I was oh. like, no! All right, so all the blocks out, pavers are pretty much out. We have a little bit left in that corner. We're gonna leave this course in, as I mentioned. It's a really nice um, footing to lay my block on. I'm gonna mortar my block down to that footing. There's not a lot of retention here, um, so I'm not using retaining block. I'm using uh, basically blocks that are designed for seat walls and pillars, but it's really only gonna be retaining maybe a foot, and it's just gravel, so I'm not worried about the strength of this at all. So we'll get this laid up, build some pillars. Uh, this is gonna take a while. We'll be here all day and probably not even finish the wall, uh, but pretty close. More coffee. If you keep feeding me coffee, I'll be done with this whole job in 30 minutes. <laughs> What's the difference between the shorter and the longer? Never... What's the difference between I mean, the shorter you, and the longer? I mean, one's shorter and one's longer. We well, can use the longer ones for straight walls. Okay. When we're doing all the cuts, you got to do that because if you have a radius, you can't have the long ones. It'll just look, it'll look right. pointed, 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 pointed. All right, they are mixing up some mortar for me. I'm going to start laying these pillars and walls right on top of the existing footing. Should go really nice and fast. A lot easier than starting over with the fresh footing. And these blocks are all level. None of them moved. The wall was in great shape. It was just really ugly. Block number one. First block. How oh, many? Yeah, of many. 600. First of 600. Can you this out? Hey, Eric. 
No, I don't need that, Shamiro. Come on. We gotta tooth this in because otherwise the wall is just gonna push out. Make sure you don't put the uh, glue too close to the front where the glue squishes out. Yep. You gotta make sure you cut it perfect because otherwise you'll have a gap here, mm -hmm. which we don't want. Where's the instructions? I don't need instructions, man. They're rectangles. It's very easy. All right, we're just working our way down the wall. Got the base of the next pillar. You can't have the cut end out towards you though, Eric. That's gonna show. All you gotta do is measure and cut it. It's not really that hard. Is that there already? He didn't even go to Chick-fil-A or anything. That was pretty quick. How did you get back so quick? Oh, <laughs> yes, you're kind, you guys kind of are like my kids. Now let's just be honest about it. I don't know. Bob the Builder. <laughs> the pillar? No, 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 it's not going that tall. Let me see what you are. Okay. Four foot three. Yeah, about the same. <laughs> Four foot three. <laughs> Eric, hold the string right here. Your 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 pillar is like starting to get crooked. Grab a string. Let's straighten this up. Cause your pillar, like, you started square and then you started to twist it. No, right here, it's got a little bow. See? All right, go down by yours. You kick it over there too. No, you hold yours here, Eric. Eric's pillar is bad, dude. It's doing the twist through. I don't even think I can fix that. I'm serious. Tell me if it moves at all. Yeah. Stay over there. My, that one's got to, the top's got to be tweaked just a touch. Now everything's perfect again. All right, break time. You've been in construction for how many years and you hardly done anything? Well, not like this. No? No, nothing. Whoa. Eric, look at your pillar. Look what you did. Look at, look at right here. You put two going the same way. You got to take this all back down, all the way three courses back down and straighten it. <sighs> Everything was perfect until we realized Eric messed up. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> hey, can we just talk? Can we just like make a line, make it seem like it's good? <laughs> no. <laughs> He just wants to take a grinder and draw a line in so it looks like it was it was right. All right, I'm gonna run to the uh, gas station and grab something to drink. It is break time. That's how far we got so far. I know to some of you, you might say, ah, oh, that doesn't look that great. We actually are doing really good here. That's pretty fast. Block jobs like this are very expensive and you bid them to take a long time. And we're going pretty quick. That first course of block helped us a tremendous amount. I'm back. I got the guy some Gatorades. Wow. What? I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Man, the last day of school was the best though. But there's always one teacher, like I said to Adam, there's always one teacher that wants to clean the classroom. <laughs> you know, on the last day of, of school. Just listen to that sound of the kids though. It brings back memories, right? When you're a little kid. Just playing outside, playing football and stuff with the, with all your other friends. Now we're old and all we do is like work. work. <laughs> <laughs> now all we do is work so we can pay for our kids to go to school and have fun. I try to have fun at work because I don't have time for other fun. All right, we're done with lunch. Keep working on the wall. So one more course on top of this one. 
and that's it and then it caps you should make two two beads around you make one on the outside one on the inside yeah this is the last course this is it yeah! Put more glue on there, Eric. Right it's empty? It's empty. You're the worst glue operator, glue gun operator I've ever seen. Oh. Oh. Eric. Saved it. <laughs> this one's over. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, yeah, take those off. Yeah. What are you. This one's wrong too. Take this out. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't even that myself. Whoa. Whoa. Put some more glue right here. You think you're the best gluer? He doesn't even know what he's doing. Look at, look at, he doesn't even know how to. Oh wow, it looks like spaghetti here. <laughs> <sighs> he hands it to me. He's got again? all glue on the back. Oh, what are you? Oh. Put some more right here. Little Eric. business about putting glue. Eric, you're, you're the worst gluer. Yeah, I, I promise you are. Oh, I'm gonna quit right now. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you. Look at all the spaghetti he put in there. Oh. <laughs> you still eating spaghetti? Why don't we just build a step now? Huh? Why don't we build a step now? He says, why don't we build a step now? Who's going to build a step, Eric? I am. Thank you. I'll help. Eric, get the con film. This stuff's going. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What's All right. Up? I'm just putting two courses down here just so it'll hold the gravel. I'm just measure and cut one Ooh. for here. That one's got to go in. Man, we knocked this out quick. You did? Yeah, dude. These blocks usually take forever. It's all because we had the first course. All right, we are done. And this wall turned out really nice. It's uh, about 4.15. It went a little faster than I thought. You saw this morning, we got the patio all excavated out for the most part. Those will be concrete steps there. I just put those two courses to retain gravel when we grade the steps. Here's the corner. And then the return back to another pillar. I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios. You guys already know what we're doing, so I don't need to explain it, but I did just want to check in and say, good morning. It is Friday, which is my favorite. All right, let's take the trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Fill up time. I can tell you what, this car is not good on gas at all i filmed this up two days ago i did do quite a bit of driving but it is what it is five dollars and 17 cents that's what we are in wisconsin morning scott morning. how's the coffee business it's here. all right yeah it's friday which is my favorite favorite day yep I am pulling into the yard. It is 612. See if anybody's here yet. <clears throat> nope. Nobody's here. But I have the guys' payroll checks, so they will all be here shortly. Daryl's here. The orange light's on Daryl's truck, so I know Daryl Jr.'s got to be in there. He's the one that loves the orange lights. Francisco's here. Morning. Morning, boss. How you doing? Doing great. All right. Friday. My favorite day. My favorite day. Yeah. Morning. Morning. Morning, Daryl. Morning, boss. You ready? Morning. Yes, sir. You know, my wife got me up. She's like, breakfast is ready. She had eggs and donuts and coffee. I was like, wow. That early? It's way before I was up. Who's that guy? That's a new guy I hired. <laughs> you hired? I hired a new guy. Yeah, there, all right. right. You cleaning out my car? How much garbage do you make, man? I, I didn't see the floor. Uh, he's right. I do make a lot of garbage. Well, I better call Eric. It's after 6.30 and he's still not here. Eric's not answering his phone. He better not be sleeping again. else? I don't think so. Except for finding Eric. <laughs> As soon as you did that, some of that screw, the check engine light came on. So I've had it parked in. Uh, you let Daryl touch your car? 
and it's broken. Wow, what a surprise! What a surprise! Yes, Eric. Yeah, I'm gonna be late. You're gonna be late because why? Because you just woke up. Tell me the truth. Yeah. All right, let's go. Are you going in here? All right, we just pull up on the job. Eric's here. Just a little late. All right, it is a gorgeous Friday morning. It's about 60, 65 right now. It's supposed to go up to about 77. Sun is shining, there's no wind, birds are chirping. Absolutely perfect. All right, back on the job. We're gonna take a little bit more of this gravel and fill out of here, set some forms, set the steps, and uh, we got a lot of cleaning up to do. There's gravel all over the plywood, and there's a lot of gravel in the grass. We're actually coming back to put topsoil here. We're gonna finish this job off 100% for them. What do you think? Mm -hmm. You like the walls and pillars? Look great. Yep. What happened, Eric? Tell me the truth. Uh -huh, allergies. I can open my eyes. I still can't. You can't open your eyes because of allergies or because you were sleeping? <laughs> Both. Oh. Uh, so I went out. It was so cold. Eric around. said he's allergic to hard work. <laughs> <laughs> so his eyes won't open this morning. <laughs> no. Are you eating cucumber slices for breakfast? Wow, that's pretty healthy. That's what I should eat for breakfast. You got coffee and breakfast for us? Did I ever tell you that you're the best? Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you very much. And coffee thank coming up. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We have a problem. Oh. This got bumped or something right here. Oh, yeah, somebody hit it. We got to pop this one off and, and, put it, and glue it back tight. Morning, girls. Are you ready? Super ready. Today's not going to be too exciting, but, you know, it's always exciting. Thank you. Grab a form, it's gonna go from the corner to here if somebody can set this. You're gonna go square right off this corner. Oh, this corner? Square off the corner, wherever it lands on the pillar. Right. Why don't you guys set these steps over here? Finish it all right up real nice. All right. You guys don't well, know what you're doing. I'll take one. care of it. All right, you gotta draw, Eric, draw lines level from here to here. Uh -huh. Same on that one, snap the line here. Same thing across that one. You see Daryl hit the sandbox? I tell you, man, I put that guy in any equipment or truck for five minutes and he bashes something. Of course, oh, he probably didn't even know he hit it. He hits stuff all the time, he doesn't even know. You want to chalk this with me? Got it? There's nobody I'd rather chalk a line with than you. <laughs> you ran into the sandbox with the bobcat, Daryl. No, I did not. Yes, you did. It didn't get like this from a bird. You have to replace that board. Okay. Ah, well, it's 15 minutes, right? Right. No, 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 it goes the other way. More coffee, faster it goes. Oh. Thanks for holding it. for you. Eric, come and grab this wheelbarrow and bring it back. I'm full. Oh. Oh. Eric. I tried to put in a wheelbarrow for Eric and then he tipped it over. So 
Oh, he's sad. You want to give him? You want to give him a hug? Hey, come on, a hug. He needs a, he's gonna give you a bear hug. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you give him a hug, his hug. If you give him a hug, his head will pop right off. <laughs> It just, it just had a little knock. <laughs> hey, make sure it's four inches. What's up with you? Why are you sleeping in the truck? I came with you and sat down for a little bit. You weren't doing nothing in the back either. You getting tired? I was supervising these guys. Oh, wow. The hard work is the line. Supervising? Yeah. All right. Uh, everything is looking good here. All we got to do is uh, pour concrete. We got to fill all this wall, all these walls. Daryl, why do you still have a load on the truck? I had to go use the bathroom real quick. So you went and dumped the load, but it wasn't the load from the dump truck is what you're saying. Here I thought you were taking some initiative. You went to go dump the dump truck. I was like, I was feeling like proud of you for a minute. And then you pulled up with the load still on the dump truck. Ay, ay, ay. Why don't you strap Daryl down back there? I'm going to. <laughs> this isn't swept. We can't leave it like this. That's terrible. I already got it now. You might as well just watch. I just seen you guys on YouTube. Us? Yeah. No, we don't. We don't do that. Don't do no, that. social media is so scary. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's us. What? So Monday morning, if the weather's nice, we'll we'll pour it out. That's one thing about concrete work is uh, you're always at the mercy of the weather. Take care of you guys. All right. It was nice to meet you, Daryl. Hmm. Put a hundred in the truck. Hmm. Put a hundred for fuel. And don't buy no chips or nothing. All 100 right into the tank. Thank you. All right, so that wraps it up here on Friday. It's really only about lunchtime. We did really good. Uh, I expected it to take two full days to set up. It only took a day and a half. So that's a good thing because there's been a lot of jobs that have taken longer than what I expected. So you got to make it up and average it out at some point. So we're all set and ready to pour. There it is. I have the water flowing away from the house and then I have it coming this way just a touch so it doesn't sit up against the wall. Everything will drain down and right off this corner onto the lawn. There's a step down there. We'll finish the face of that. We got all our felt dowels in. We got one additional step coming off there. There'll be two steps down here and then a little landing pad at the bottom. Daryl Jr. gave me the idea to put a landing pad in. I wasn't going to, but. Here I am. I'm gonna do a little slab right here. The bottom. After he said it, I thought it was a good idea. Now's the weekend, but I got a concrete order for Monday morning, so I will see you then. Adios. 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 Adios, everyone. Adios. Have a good weekend. Adios. Adios, amigos.